Hey guys, Deb the Awesome here to give you another DX2 summoning video. Um, I got a bunch of stuff because uh, the update, uh, they, in the update they did a, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. They did uh, for lifetime missions. They they added a bunch of ultimate summoning file. They they added an ultimate su summoning file where it's a login bonus. Um, they they pretty much added a loyalty. Uh, mission quest line and I got a bunch of stuff for it. Uh, I got an absolute summoning file uh, So I got a guaranteed five pull. I got a uh, five ultimate summoning pull. So I may pull a five uh, but this uh, I, I want to do this for a number of reasons one. Uh, I want to see if I usually do this anyway. Well, I usually do it anyway, but uh, I want to see if because the ultimate summoning file is probably no different than the pulling five from the ultimate summon so i want to see if i actually get more fives than fours probably not i'm probably just gonna get a bunch of fours on this but i, I want to see i want to see how if if i get more uh you know if i get if i do possibly get more fives than fours because for the most part you usually get fours with these so let's see what level four demons i actually get uh, okay so i got uh a uh, oh, I got the, the giant guy. Acid Breath reduces defense and evasion of all monsters for twenty percent by 20% for three turns. It still isn't a guaranteed chance to recover mana. Uh, this is actually the better one between draining physical. Like, this thing has two, like, two good ones. Draining physical and this one. I think this is the better one because, really, what people actually hit you with physical damage, if you have, like... Rama, then I think the draining physical is better, but for the most part, life surge is the go to because you get so much life out of it. You get like over what is it, uh, 2000 or whatever. It's it's he's got a lot of life if he gets this passive. If you give him life surge, he's got a lot. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You can't make him this. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, so I did get a level, I did get a rank 5 demon, but, <laughs> I, dude, I have, dude, I now have three of these guys. <laughs> dude, I got super lucky. This guy has superior, but I got superior luck. Like, that's crazy. This thing is really good. Like, uh, astronomically good. Uh, so now I have three of these. <laughs> so I can just kind of mess around with it. No one's going to believe me. Like, if I if I make a whole bunch of dicks, it's going to be like a lot of people from the DX who come here and watch me. Like, no one's going to believe my luck. They're going to think like, oh, you're right. No, it's like luck pull. <laughs> watch all my full videos. <laughs> it's crazy. Zong Kui. Uh, I already have Zong Kui. And uh, this one's red, so it's not going to do me any good. Um, ooh, Jonah de Arc. Uh, no Mute. That might be good on defense. Oh, I got Thor. Cool. So I got two fives. So this, so it's I got, maybe they have a better rate. Right? I don't know, but I got two fives out of it. Major. I might actually turn this into something else. I'm not gonna change it right now. Here's the nice thing: is uh, they usually they have a campaign. Uh, they had a campaign recently. Uh, I don't know how recent. But a little while ago in November, they had a campaign where you get refunded a bunch of mag for fusing a monster. I might save for that because usually it costs a lot of mag to, you know, fuse monsters. It, it quite a bit actually. So, but uh, the the norm is always use a monster of the same rank if to get the a rank that you want. So let's say I want a rank five demon, like I fuse it. Uh, it's it's always cheaper to use like a rank five fodder. So this is this is good. If if I don't want to use this or the red one that I have, uh, I can always change it. I can always do that. Uh, this is actually really good. Rebellion uh, self enters a state of might. The uh, next attack will always have a critical hit. It's better than charge because it combos better. Uh, if especially if you rank up major, uh, if you if you make a uh, major majorner uh, words, <laughs> sorry, it's morning. Uh, if you rank this up all the way, you're guaranteed to recover 2 MP per turn. So you don't even need to run a mana uh, artif uh, no, relic uh, brands. You don't need to run magic brands for this. So that's really good. 
uh, it gives you two mana per turn, uh, and usually you recover three naturally. Uh, so it, it, so you're recovering five per turn. So what I'm basically saying is you pretty much can combo this, and then he's guaranteed to do Megaton Raid uh, next turn without any problems. The problem with Charge, uh, which is one of his act, one of his passive skills, uh, it, it doesn't combo well because obviously you use six of your mana, so you have to wait two turns to use Megaton Raid, or, or at least a turn. Uh, even when you rank up this to... Even when you rank this up to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, all the way to six, um, you're still waiting a turn, I think. Yeah, because let's say you, unless you do run mana brands, then you recover seven per turn, which is amazing. Uh, seven MP per turn is awesome. Uh, but, uh, you're, you're covering six at that point, so basically you're recovering the MP you just used to use charge. So I guess this is how you perceive it. Uh, uh, overall, I think these are uh, this is awesome pulse. And the if if anyone looked at this, you know, if you took the time to look at this, these pulls weren't bad. <laughs> these ultimate summon pulls were actually relatively nice. I like these pulls. There, there's no reason to be bad at them. They're really good. Uh, in terms of these ultimate summon files, that's really good. Let's see what we get for our absolute summon. I swear if it's another Alice. <laughs> please, please don't be another Alice. <laughs> absolute summon go. What's my guaranteed rank 5 demon, my boys and gals? You're kidding. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good note to end <laughs> It's another app. Dude, um, I think my game is bugged. This is the third. Dude, this is the third Alice I got. It's the third one. I've got an Alice from a guaranteed pull. Five, like three times. This is the third time in a row. Three times. I've gotten this monthly three times. <laughs> Absolute su summons. Guarantee you, Alice, every single time. Let me know if your guaranteed pull is different. I want to know. I want to know in the comment sections below. Has your absolute summon pull, if you have done it before, has it been any different? Has it been any, any different? This is like, ah, God, this always happens. <laughs> I've always pulled this. It's another absolute summon pull, and I always, <laughs> I'm always getting Alice. For my next uh, ultimate summon, I might do, I just might do multiple pulls. I might do that. Because it's not doing me any good getting Alice. Because I already have Alice. Because I, I now have three Alices. I'm not joking. I think I still even have the one in, that I pulled last time in the storage bin. It's crazy. Yeah, I still, I still have the one. I, I still have the one, Alice, I pulled last time. And I pulled another teal. I, do, I don't need another teal. I already have one. <laughs> it's crazy. How is, how is my guaranteed absolute summon pull every single time consistently been Alice? I, I've pulled Alice like three or four times. Like, no, not, th not four times, three times. Uh, this is the third time, three times in a row. So if you ever wanted Alice, just save up 200 apartment pieces because that just seems to be consistency. It's always been Alice. <laughs> Which is crazy. Uh, but that's it for this video. I'm Deb the Awesome and uh, I'll catch you guys later.